Howard County General Hospital and COLA, a national accrediting organization, introduced the Lab Safety and Performance Improvement Initiative. With continuous real-time learning as the centerpiece, the partners aspire to innovate a comprehensive model for ensuring patient safety in laboratory medicine. One in five Americans report that they or a family member have experienced a medical error of some kind. Nationally, that translates into an estimated 22.8 million people. Of these, 44,000 result in death, higher than motor vehicle accidents, breast cancer, or AIDS. In addition to the human costs, the financial impact to 17 to $29 billion per year is staggering. Laboratory testing and analysis play a central role in reversing this trend. Since laboratory information contributes to approximately 70% of medical decisions, impacting critical decisions related to heart attack, infectious diseases, endocrine disorders, cancers, and more. The good news is that lab-related error rates have been declining for decades, now 1 20th of where they were 40 years ago. And analytic process mistakes now count for less than 10% of all mistakes. Creating a culture of safety is critically important for the care of our patients. We spend an enormous amount of time looking at the various processes that create the patient care experience. And so we come together at our daily safety briefing to talk about what happened yesterday, to anticipate the needs of today, and to further anticipate the needs of tomorrow. So many levels. The impact of this relationship with COLA is innovation in terms of new clinical processes. It's really critical to make sure the nurses and doctors understand why we're doing these things and what is the impact of their behavior on the outcome of the patient experience. So we don't take care of patients in isolation anymore. It, it's not the nurse's role and the physician's role and that everybody is working in their own silos. We all work together as a multidisciplinary team. We have to because everybody contributes a unique piece of expertise to that care team. So we have nurses, we have physicians, we have pharmacists, we have lab techs. All of those people are key in making sure that we coordinate our care and that we're all collectively understanding how that contributes to the best possible patient outcome. The process can be broken down into three main areas. First is pre-analytic. Accuracy at this stage of the specimen gathering is key, from ordering the correct test to skilled collection, including the right medium and proper labeling, to timely transportation to the lab. Errors here account for up to 75% of lab mistakes and can dramatically impact our patients' well-being. The analytic phase consists of processes including hematology, urinalysis, chemistry, and coagulation. Since many of these actions are automated, this is actually the most error-free step of the specimen's journey. The post-analytic phase includes checking results, sometimes follow-up testing to verify a suspicious finding, and notification to retest, either to a nurse or to the physician. All of these steps and the care and accuracy given to them determine whether patients get the proper diagnosis, treatment, and prognosis. So the work that we do here in the lab can really make the difference between life or death. Diagnosis of the patient and helping the physician come to what their treatment plan is is the most important thing that we do every day. I tell my team that this could be their mother, this could be their sister, that we are, we are helping someone get better to go home with their families, and that is one of the biggest gifts that you can give. COLA's mission as a company is to improve laboratory medicine and patient care. The initiative with the hospital is a unique opportunity to do that. I think there's something very special about the care that's given at Howard County General Hospital. So then the ability to actually innovate together to actually explore ways that we can have impact on patient care was just a um, kind of almost a dream come true in many ways. This initiative with COLA is actually bringing one of my visions to fruition because I'm very excited to actually have a position like this that's just really going to reinforce better quality and education in our facility. And this lab safety officer is going to bring us to a, a better treatment plan for all of our patients. My name is Nathan Cass. I'm the new laboratory patient safety officer here at Howard County General Hospital. I'm excited to be part of this new initiative to work with a diverse group of people here at the hospital to help bring safety to the patients. I'll be creating um, education opportunities and ongoing training on the units 
hands in the laboratory. And one of the things that I'll, I'll, I will be doing on a daily basis, on an hourly basis, is a lot of listening. We've all been in the hospital, or have had loved ones in the hospital, and I'm proud that I'll be part of a process that helps improve outcomes of our patients. Our intent is to not only do the right thing here in Howard County, but to create uh, kind of the, the center of excellence that Howard County General Hospital becomes the model that can be replicated throughout the nation. I think many times we compartmentalize what our responsibilities are and when we do our work it goes off to somebody else we don't know exactly who it is. This is an opportunity for us to step back and reflect on the whole episode of care and how each one of our providers interacts in that relationship. So it is an opportunity to learn and grow together. It's an opportunity to, to share best practices and then to um, demonstrate through measurement that we're really making a difference and then share that with the rest of the healthcare industry.